Two weeks are complete for Coach Mallory and the Sycamores in spring football practice. And also complete is their time away from Memorial Stadium with the new turf officially cleared. And it took a lot of folks to help the Sycamores during this process. It's, it, it's not only, uh, you know, where we're going, it's the people that are helping us get there. The Boys and Girls Club helping us with their buses going back and forth. And that's been huge because you get a group you get your offense, they're focused, you kept their focus. It's not people driving over on their own. And they stepped up and helped us out with buses, and then Turner buses have helped out. And so that's been huge. And then obviously Rose Holman, as you mentioned, they, I, I can't say enough on how much we appreciate what they've done. Terre Haute North uh, uh, helped us out this past week. Same thing. I mean, what a great uh, gesture on both their part. And it's been a group effort. You know, it's been, uh, you know, everyone uh, coming together. Uh, join forces, you know, because it was there was a lot of adjustment, and uh, you know, people had to you know make some changes in their schedules, and and uh, but it, you know, everyone everyone pulled together as one, and we're real excited to be out here, and can't wait till Tuesday. As for what transpired on the field this spring to this point, no doubt names such as Jonas Griffith on the defensive side engaged Lackey towards the offense, thrive in leadership positions. Coach Mallory is also noticing other names, Sycamore fans. Need to start the circle. Well, the obvious guys are Jonas and, and Noakes. You know, those two guys have really done a great job. Jamal has done a great job. You got Rex Mosley. Those guys have really stepped it up. You know, I really like the way that uh, Gage Lackey has come on with his leadership. And then you got Jaquan Keys. Those guys have really stepped up their leadership up front, you know, with James Lang, Wyatt Wozniak, Lex Sauer. Those guys have done a, a, a tremendous job. But the two names that that uh, you know that I've uh, really been pleased with with been Nikia Greer, uh, what he's done and the work he's put in, and, and and his ability to really step up in more of a role. And the other young man that's really helped us out and has really shown great improvements been Tyson Whitner at the middle linebacker position. Having Cottrell Moss out, having Kelvin Broom out, you know I'll tell you what Tyson Whitner has uh, gotten an opportunity and he's taken full advantage of it. Everyday improvement. Uh, I've seen him come out and work hard. Uh, we've had a, a great off season, and it's really shown. I've seen some guys that we didn't have in the fall, and we got them back, and that's great to see those guys out there. Um, you know, they've come back, they've worked hard, they're bigger, they're stronger, but just kind of knocking the rust off a little bit with some of the injured players, and now they're kind of getting into a groove. But we've been able to sprinkle in a lot of film work, which has really been good classroom work and teaching ability. Spring ball continues this week. We'll have complete coverage of it right here on GoSycamores.com.